what is up everybody it is your man brian back with you for another review and today we're going to be going over three flavors from backwoods blends okay these were sent over to me for free for the purpose of the review from dina so dina thank you i really appreciate it um these are all a 70 30 blend we'll go over all the prices and all that at the end as always all right so the three flavors i got over here are the ry this this is what the labels look like they all look the same except your flavors down here in your milligram and neck you got the little design thing i don't know it's like a person blowing out star vapor it's, i don't know but anyway it's a little design backwoods blends you got your cautions over here and your ingredients and then she puts the size of the bottle and when the juice was made so i got ry4 i got vanilla cupcake and i got mild blend tobacco all right so let's see we'll just go ahead and start with the mild blend all right mild blend this one this one is actually probably my favorite out of the three that I got. Um, I actually have it. I actually have this in my little AIO. Um, and I use it um, for like discreet vaping type situations. And it's really good. Um, it's got a nice smooth tobacco to it. Um, it's kind of like a um, like a mild it's it's a mild blend it's a mild blend tobacco um it's nice and subtle not too strong it's got the right amount of throat hit it's got the right amount of mixture to it um it's a really really good tobacco blend um i would definitely give it a shot if you like mild blended tobaccos yeah definitely give it a shot and it's perfect for mouth to lunging um it's good if you drip it and go straight to lung but i noticed that it goes better in a mouth to lung better than a dripper because it gives you that that throat hit that you want more in a mouth to lung than it does on a straight lung hit so yeah that's it's really good and they got all these are 70 30 blends they got nice cloud production too And that's just off the AIO, and that's with the airflow closed all the way down. So, I've noticed on the AIO that if you have the airflow all the way open, it gives, for me personally, it gives me too much air, and I can't get a nice mouth to lung. But with this juice in it, it gives a nice throat hit. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, I, I really like that blend right there. It's really, really good. So, the next one we'll start with is the RY4. Now, the RY4, this one is really, really good. Um, it's a nice tobacco blend. A lot of people don't like RY4s because it's too heavy on... It, it's got like that cigarette taste to it. But this isn't like that. It's got... It's like a fresh kind of like pipe tobacco, like cured pipe tobacco kind of thing. And it's got like a kind of nutty taste to it. Um, she did a really good job on this. I, I don't think it's straight RY4. I think there's might be a few other things in here. Because it doesn't... I've had just straight RY4, VG, PG, and nicotine. And straight RY4 tastes exactly like a cigarette. And this doesn't. Like I said, it kind of has like a nutty kind of... Kind of oaky, like a flu cured kind of taste to it so yeah this one's really good too so if you like ry4s that don't taste like a cigarette and have like a little bit of a nutty taste to it give this a shot it's really really good um i was actually really surprised with this one um i got it just to try it out and i didn't think that i was going to like it because the ry4s a lot of the times like i said taste like cigarettes but not this one this she did a really good job on this juice really really good um now vanilla cupcake i don't know how she did this um she 
definitely did a really good job on this juice, this vanilla cupcake. Um, on the inhale of it, you get a nice, smooth, subtle vanilla to it. And then on the exhale, you get, you still get the vanilla, but then you get like the bakery note to it and the vanilla mixes in with it. It should, she did a really good job on it. It's really, really good. If you like vanilla cupcake juices, um, give it a shot. It's not overpoweringly sweet, but it has the perfect amount of sweetness to it. Um, it's not overpowering on the vanilla. The cupcake isn't overpowering. It's just blended right. It's it's blended right. I've had other cupcakes and they're a lot of them are too overpowering on the vanilla. She blended this one really really well. So if you like vanilla cupcakes, give this one a shot. All right. <clears throat> so let's go over some pricing really quick. Um, and as always, I'll have the link to the website down in the description. Um, let's see here. All right, mild blend. Okay, mild blend. All right, four. Let me. I gotta look around the camera. All right, for a 15 mil is 750. For a 30 mil is fifteen dollars um and i'll go back and give you the 60 mil and 120 mil prices in a second but anyway you can get all the juices in 0 3 6 12 18 and 24 so these juices you know if you're just quitting smoking and you want a high milligram of nicotine you can go here and get it and she offers the pg vg blends in a 70 pg 30 VG and a 70 VG and 30 PG. So 70 30 blend on either or. So you can pick to choose that. If you like a real hard throat hit, you can go with the higher PG. But if you like a nice subtle throat hit and a thicker kind of juice, you can go with the uh, VG PG blend. Alright, so a 60 mil is well really. Hold on a second, is that right? I know a 60 mil is not no thirty-nine dollars. $29, okay, $29, $29 for a 60 mil, that's what the site's saying, so, $29 for a 60 mil, and then you got, $55 for a 120, and you can like I, you can get them zero three six twelve eighteen and twenty four and the seventy pg thirty vg or seventy vg thirty pg. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. All right. So that is the Backwoods Blends from Dina over there at Backwoods Blends, obviously. Um. So yeah, make sure you join Kasai Fight for Your Right to Vape. Make sure you come over to vapeshack.org and hang out with us over there. Make sure you check out Vapedom. Check out all my social medias. Check out Tommy Vapor Show every Friday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Every week, we just have a sit back and chill show. We interact with everybody in chat. We just we just hang out, man, and unwind from the week. It's really, really fun. Um, Make sure you join Kasa and all that stuff. If I didn't already say it, join everything. That way you can stay up with what's going on in advocacy. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think that's it. So if I missed anything, everything will be down in the description. And uh, yeah, guys. So I'll see you on the next one. All right.